Uh, hello, my name is Mark Allen. Once upon a time, I was an assistant to Julia Child. Well, unfortunately, Mrs. Child fired me 400 years ago because I put too much whale oil in King Henry James' coffee, and he got sick. So that ended my career cooking for the royalty. So now I am relegated to teaching Bellingham how to make brownies. So enjoy. These brownies are gluten free, just to avoid any confusion. Here's the list of the ingredients. Basically, we're going to be using four different gluten-free flours in an attempt to recreate as much as possible the taste of normal brownies. Now, very important. First of all, let's get the oven to 350 degrees, but also we need to use a double boiler. It's extremely important not to overheat the butter as we melt the butter. If you're a poor boy like me, just use a pan within a pan and use a couple of pieces of metal to separate them along with the water. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, one and a half cups of butter is three sticks of butter. Now, I melt it at low heat, so again, not to burn it and not to have the water boil over it. Now, pretty simple matter, we're pouring all of the different flours into the mixing cup and then into the sifter into a separate bowl for the dry ingredients. We can do all this work while the butter is melting. What we'll have to wait, of course, is the wet ingredients. So let's get this done and over with. As you can see, we're taking the four different gluten-free um, flours and mixing them together. All the flours, in my case, are coming from the Bellingham Community Food Co-op. That's the best place to get this kind of gluten-free. Now, please note with the salt, I'm not going to the sifter with it because it is sea salt, so it won't fit to the sifter. I'm going to put it right straight in through the mixing bowl, which is okay because it will be mixed in with the beaters later on. Now uh, here is the baking soda. Now let's do the sifting. Now please note, we're going to use the mixer as well as the sifting to further mix the different flours together to get a thoroughly smooth consistency of all the flours that we're using four different flours. So. Now that the butter is melted, we need to cool it off first. Very simple. We will replace the hot water in the lower pan with cold water and let the butter cool close to room temperature. If you don't do that, the brownies will not be as firm as they otherwise would be. They would be more gooey. Now while that's cooling off, let's start the other mixture. Now we get the eggs. Three eggs. One. Two. Three. Put that away. And a little bit of the vanilla. Something like that. Now we start the first mixing of the wet parts of the mix. 
Now we mix in the brown sugar. It's two cups of brown sugar. And by the way, that is one small bag. You get a small bag of brown sugar, you don't have to measure it. You know that it's two cups. So get that to a nice, smooth mix, something like that. Now the butter is cool. Get that poured into the mix. Let's get that all nice and smooth and thoroughly mixed together. Pour in the dry ingredients and start mixing again. This will start to get harder and harder as the mix gets thicker and thicker. So it will put a challenge to your mixer. Now please note, once this is done, we're through using the mixer. When we mix in the coconut and the chocolate chips, we're going to do that by hand. Otherwise, most likely we'll burn the mixer out. So let's put the mixer away. Here out come the chocolate chips and the coconut. Get those into the mix. Let's get the chocolate chips in there, like that. Now get the old spoon out and start mixing away. Several swift strokes to get those chocolate chips and the coconut thoroughly mixed into the batter. This will probably take about 10 minutes. I hurried things up a bit since you really don't want to be bored by me doing that. But you get the idea. Once that's done, we get the baking pan out. I use a non-stick pan because I'm too lazy. You don't want to have to grease them. Let's get that mix all into that can pan without spilling it all over the kitchen, which I have done in the past. Now we smooth it out as much as we can in the pan. Once that's done, it's into the oven at 350 degrees for about a half hour and 35 minutes. Now note carefully, in my oven, you see some sheets of metal between the pan and the burner. That prevents burning of the bottom of the ingredient. Now, to tell if it's done, you stick a fork in various places. If it comes out dry and clean, we know the brownies are done. So out they come. Now, we don't just take them out and serve them right away. We take the brownies out and we set them into a cocoon formed by towels, folded towels on the bottom and folded towels on the top. And we leave them in that cocoon for overnight. That allows the brownies to actually continue to bake as they cool off very slowly and very gently. And that is pretty much it. Overnight, so tomorrow morning, they will be ready to serve.